Oh, hi. So you clicked on this video because you want to learn something related to dentistry. Well, you are on the right place. I am Dr. Hina, the voice and soul behind Dr. Teeth. And this is the platform where we make learning interesting and incredibly easy for you. So do leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will recommend you to join channel membership to watch our premium videos. You can also visit our website for online classes, courses, and CQs. So let's get started. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the norma frontalis, that is the anterior aspect of the skull, that is the front of the skull. We'll be seeing all the anatomical features we have at the anterior region of the skull. Now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Dr. Hina and I create dental videos with an intention to help dental students and to make their learning simple, easy and also fun at the same time, hopefully. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so that we can stay connected. And with this, we'll begin the video. Now, when you look the skull from the front, you can appreciate that the skull appears to be oval in shape, isn't it? It is oval in shape and it is wider above and it is narrow below, okay? And it has these bones. Let's see what are these. We have the frontal bone which forms the forehead. I hope it is clear. And then we have the right and the left nasal bone. Then we have the right and the left maxilla. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. Then we have zygomatic bone right and left. Then we have the mandible. So these are the bones you see when you look the skull from the front. Now we are going to see what all structures we have, anatomical features. So we will start with this. Prominence here, you can see it. This is the supraciliary arch. So these are the rounded bony elevations above the orbital margins. Okay. Then here we have the glabella. Glabella is basically the median elevation between the supraciliary arches. So it is, as you can see, between the supraciliary arches. Then we have the orbits, okay, these are the orbits, bony cavities in which we have our eyes, right? Now all the orbit, if you look closely, they have few margins. We have a superior margin, which is here, lateral, inferior and medial. Same with this orbit, okay? Now, now this supraorbital margin, it is formed by the frontal bone. here. At the junction of the lateral two-third and the medial one-third, we have this notch here. That is the supraorbital notch. In some skulls, we also find a foramen here. And supraorbital nerves and vessels passes through it. The lateral orbital margin, it is formed by the zygomatic bone and the frontal bone. So here we have seen that we have the zygomatic bone and here we have the frontal bone. So both these here they are forming the lateral orbital margin. Then coming to the infraorbital margin. Infraorbital margin is formed by the zygomatic bone laterally and the maxilla medially. Okay. The medial orbital margin, it is formed by the frontal and the maxillary bone. Coming to the nose, we have the anterior nasal aperture. This opening here, okay. It is pariform shaped. We have a nasal septum in between, that is the partition. We have the inferior concha projecting from the lateral wall of the nose. Not evident in this model. Now, here at this region, we have 
this suture here. This is the frontonasal suture and we also have a suture here. This is the internasal suture, okay? And where these meet, okay? Where the frontonasal and the internasal suture meet, that is known as the nasion. That is sorted. Here I missed this projection here, that is the anterior nasal spine. Coming to the mandible, here we have a median bony ridge, not evident in this model. This is the symphysis menti. It represents the joining of the two halves of mandible. So the mandible, when the development happens, these are two bones actually and they join together in the center. We have a triangular elevation in the model. Let's see if we can appreciate it. So here we have a triangular elevation which is, as you can see, at the lower end of the symphysis menti and this makes the prominence of the cheek. Okay. Here we have two foramen. Here and here, these are the mental foramen. This is between the two premolar teeth. Okay. Then, obviously, you must be knowing the alveolar process of the maxilla and the mandible. So, I hope I have not missed anything which was very important. If I have, you can ask me in the comment section below. And with this, I would like to end this video. Hope you like this video. You can download Dr. Teeth app where we have many such videos which will help you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.